Hi there now, Rupert Henry jones and Neil Stucker with us this morning. Look at them. I've been saying they look rather tanned. You look rather gorgeous and tanned as well. Is that our overzealous makeup artist? In Portugal. <laughs> I was in Portugal. Easter, oh, yeah, lovely. The right. glamorous life I'm of afraid actors. I've been t tanned up for a job I've just finished where I was Ooh. set over a... Uh, August bank holiday heat wave, which hopefully we'll have this year. Oh. Mm. Thing called Bit the part in Towie? No. It's the last weekend. <laughs> It'll be on and on ITV, hopefully oh. end of August, beginning of September. You gave so much more than I thought just from that comment, but we're going to talk a bit more <laughs> in a minute. Yeah, that was just a little flavour I was going for. Because we, we, of course, have to get to uh, the news, new series of Silk, which kicks off uh, tonight. Uh, we'll speak to more... Uh, with you guys a little bit. Uh, time for our competition, though. I know you're interested in our competition, so take a look at this. Uh, Susie Perry has got the details. This week's prize package could give you the freedom to have a really fabulous summer. It's £20,000 cash to spend on whatever you want. And this Elders Aspire 265 motorhome, courtesy of Elders and the Camping and Caravaning Club. Inside, there's everything you need for a luxurious breakaway, so you can zip off at a moment's notice. There's a cosy living area, kitchen, bathroom, and plenty of cupboard space for all your favourite food. And don't worry about your clothes getting creased, because it's got a handy wardrobe. For your chance to win £20,000 cash and the motorhome, just answer this question correctly. According to the proverb, don't put all your eggs in one what? A basket, B carton, C quiche. Call 090 41 61 9000. Calls cost no more than £1.54 from BT Landlines. Other networks may be higher and mobiles considerably more. Text your answer A, B or C to 88011. Text costs £1.50 plus one standard network rate message. You can also enter for free at itv.com. Entrance must be 18 or over. Entries made after lines close at midday on Friday the 18th of May will not be counted but may still be charged. Good luck. Well, the last series of legal drama, Silk, followed a set of London barristers and their ambitions to attain the rank of Queen's Counsel, known, of course, as Taking Silk. Well, the second series kicks off tonight, and one barrister is still smarting after missing out. Mickey Joy, brief. Who am I for? Brendan Kay. Ah, first on the indictment. Excellent. Ah, uh, you're being led, sir. Oh, right. Yeah, of course. A case as big as this, it needs... Martha Costello. Silk. Well, technically, until she's been sworn in, Friday. she's not actually in silk. This trial is about as heavy as it gets. I want someone she can rely on. It's going to be hard for her. Be nice to her. For me. Mm, or Rupert Bromley Jones and Neil Street Doris. Now, I I'm not sure you are going to be nice to her for him. You had a look <laughs> as if you weren't going to be. What was going on there? No, no, no. I am, I am going to be nice to her. But it it's just that, you know, it's the first day that he's not, <laughs> that he's walking into chambers. He sees that she's coming in as silk. His name gets put from being above hers to being below hers. And then that happens. Yeah. And he suddenly is her junior, uh, oh. basically effectively her assistant. And you're not happy. So it, well, it's just hard to take. He has to swallow it, but it's hard to take. It's done so well. Six million viewers. Mm. Yeah. You must be chuffed a bit. Well, especially for a legal drama. I mean. Yeah. Yeah, I think we'll get a couple more this time as well, <laughs> hopefully. Legal dramas are notoriously difficult uh, on, to sort of mm. portray in an interesting way. Because when, when we went and did research in the courts and stuff, and you watch the court cases, it's, it's a hard thing to sort of sell dramatically, really. It's not like America where you can get up and walk around. Right. We'll all sit in the same place all the way mm. through. Yeah. And, and you don't want to over-sensationalise it either, I guess. You want to well, kind of no. stay as, as true as possible to reality. Yeah. How difficult is that? Or did you find things in the people that you met and the time that you spent that you could draw on to, to make it that much more interesting? That is hard, isn't it? Definitely keeping things sort of, you know, as realistic as possible. But, you know, I think what's important about this to remember is it's, it's a very, very strong female character. Yeah. And I think that's that's what makes it so special as well. You know, it's it's such a sort of female-driven character yeah. with Maxine. It's quite exciting. We had Brenda Blethyn on the show, and she said that whenever she starts a character, she starts with the shoes, putting right. the shoes on, and then you work up from there. But I wonder if you guys, it's putting the wig on, because that must <laughs> no, be the moment it's when you not. did you laugh when he's always up in the wig. Uh, I, well, I, I don't wear one, so no, that's he's all right. I've right. I, 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 so. worn one before in North Square and kind of had got used to it and actually to be honest it's quite good it's like a, a uniform like a police uniform or anything else once you get the wig and the cloak on you turn into barrister mode or, and it's like when you play a, a character in a period piece and you get into that costume you suddenly stand differently and it, it just it helps and you don't have to wear the wig all the way if we had to wear it all the way through the show that would be difficult it's just the courtroom scenes it's, it's, it actually does help yeah. we, we don't get much exposure to, to QC's 
in, uh, in everyday life, but uh, Robert J. Q. C. is front and centre at the Leveson Inquiry. You've been watching him and how he's conducting the interviews bits and the it, yeah. interrogations. Bits of it, yeah. It's fascinating, isn't it? I mean, talk about drama. Yeah. You know, but real life drama. Well, that is a sense, I guess. That, that must have been something that you, you picked up when you, when you spent time. It's just, it, it is a very dramatic scenario, isn't well, it? Yeah, and they're, they're, they're putting on these kind of characters, aren't they? You know, so they're, they're, they're adopting a, a stance, yeah. a character. So it's quite similar to acting, perhaps. Mm. But I know, think it must, be, it must be easier for lawyers in this country being able to put on that, as opposed to other countries where they just wear a suit and tie and they look like... Yeah. They look like they're defendants yeah. or the people they're prosecuting. I think it's great to have that sense of divide, I think, between because you, you take away the personal side of it and just become the barrister, the yeah. prosecution, or the That's defense. Really, yeah. I think it really helps. That's a real art form as well, sometimes it seems. There's a real craft that goes into it. Mm. That's fascinating. Um, good luck with it, and g best of luck with the, uh, the projects you're working on now. Your, your um, play starts. I'm in the new Burkhoff at the Charing Cross Theatre. We start tomorrow night. Okay, yeah, six actors in search of a director. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And Rupert, look forward to seeing you on, on ITV later in the year. Thank you. Uh, Silk, new series starts tonight. tonight uh, yeah. Enjoy. Thanks very much indeed. Thank you.